Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome to some brand new gameplay here on the channel. So this is a game called Eternity The Last Unicorn. As always, I put information about the games I play down below in my video descriptions guys, so if you want to go ahead and read up anything, you can do so. Um, massive shout out to Ryan for providing me with a copy of this game, thank you so much Ryan. But as always guys, please do remember my thoughts and impressions expressed in commentary are my own. If you want to go ahead and buy this game, there's also a link in the video description as well and it supports the channel. But anyways guys, we're going to be checking this game out. Um, it only just came to my attention about a week before recording this. I saw the trailer and it's definitely giving off some Lord of the Rings vibes and also Skyrim as well. I love both of those things so I think I'm gonna like this game. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna be quiet for the cutscene unless it doesn't have voice acting in which case I will be reading out the text. So let's go ahead and see what this introduction is like. As always, if you want to see more of this series, guys, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and if you like it, perhaps give a tip via donation as well. But we're going to be checking this out, and if it does do well on the channel, I will turn this into a series as well, so let me know your thoughts down below, guys. I'm excited to play this. The trailer definitely had me really hyped up. There's lots of like magic um, and fantasy creatures and stuff like that, so I'm I'm into all that stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, no VA. A long, long time ago, when the first elves reached the world of Alfheim, a heavenly and glorious power fell upon them. The holy goddess. Maria, creator and guardian of nature, handed them four sacred unicorns. These ancient legendary beings brought purity and balance to the elves, turning them into immortals. This incredible, unimaginable power was passed on from one generation to the next, making every new life an immortal life. One night, the unicorns suddenly disappeared. It was thought to be witchcraft, and for the first time, the elves feared for their immortality as the divinity provided by the unicorns was gone. Okay. However, perhaps by a twist of fate, one of the unicorns survived. The fairies found him. He had been cursed and had a broken horn. The elves, fearful of this curse, handed him over to a young elf who, according to the ancient scrolls, was the only one capable of restoring the power of the very last unicorn. Sorry about that, guys. My phone just went off. I thought it was on silent. And this was how the pursuit of eternity began. It's a bit of a shame that this opening doesn't have VA and also I much prefer with text if you're reading your, it yourself where you choose to advance the text because that really did not give me any time to commentate like with my thoughts and opinions over the story. But yeah, very mystical, very magical. So let's go ahead and read this. Vanaheim's Memorial, Makala's Temple. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering any of the pronunciation of these names, guys. Bear in mind, I am dyslexic, so I do struggle and mix my words up, but what the hey, hopefully you enjoy it. Nonetheless, nonetheless, there we go, case in point. <laughs> Makala's temple was built in the age of the gods by King Oslav. Back then, the lands of the north were constantly under attack from the giants that threatened the Midgard lands. There once was a gory battle in which King Oslov ran away towards the mountains of Fendiror? Oh my god, I have no idea. After witnessing the massacre of his army adrift, he found a colossal image of a desolate goddess. Alone and gravely injured, he got down on his knees in front of her and made a sacred promise. He asked for the Lord's giant's head in exchange for building a temple in tribute to the goddess. Two days went by and the king, thirsty for vengeance, marched with his army towards, oh god, Jotunheim, I think, home of the giants, where he witnessed a true miracle. A large flaming sword came from the sky and cut down all the giants one by one, until their master was the only one left. Their master had his head cut off in a single blow, damn! After that day, the king honoured his promise, building a temple and covering the goddess with leaves from Yudrissel, 
Is that how you say it, Udrisal? I'm probably butchering that, let's face it. Hoping to keep her spirit alive. Legends say the origin of its name is the mystic forest of... Ma Mackenheim? Mackenheim, I think? Where it's believed one can feel the presence of the gods. Right, I'm actually going to turn my phone off because it's really dinging today for some reason. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it off. It's supposed to be on silent, but it keeps making noises. That's iPhones for you. Okay, so the graphics, yeah, I can see what people were saying in the comments of the trailer. The graphics aren't anything to write home about, but I play all sorts of games. I play, like, pixel art games, for heaven's sake, so graphics aren't the be-all and end-all for me. If it's got good gameplay and it's got good story, then I'm sold, so... And they're not, like, horrendously bad. Anyway, I've seen worse. See, this just screams Lord of the Rings to me. So badly. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing. A stone wall engraved with some sort of tree. Right, so square seems to be attack. Right, so square is like a quick attack. Triangle is like a more heavy attack. Uh, circle is like a lunge, okay, so it's not- we don't have a roll, it seems, we just have like a- a quick step dodge type thing. And the shoulder buttons don't seem to do anything at the moment, okay. Oh, hello. Oh look, there's the unicorn! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're less than 10 minutes in and I'm already impersonating horses and unicorns. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's so majestic. <laughs> We're communicating. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Orihem. Come closer. I am Makala, the guardian of these lands. I know why you are here. I can feel your pain. I know of your purity and your true love for this beautiful animal. I mean, I do love unicorns so much. I really do. And dragons. <laughs> Isn't it because of this animal that you are here? Granny? I conjure you in the name of all the gods for the spirituality born in the soul that dreams in the distant dark wilderness of space. Take the path of the light. Push away the black shadows that curse this realm so the Elder Oracle will awake. Only he can help you. Oh god, it's just so, like, mystical and magical already. <laughs> March through the fallen woods of Vanaheim and fulfil your destiny, and when darkness afflicts you, use the light flask. Oh god, no, I really want to quote Lord of the Rings right now, but I can't remember the exact quote. May it be a light when all other lights go out. <laughs> I think that's it. I probably got it slightly wrong. New journal entry added. Uh, journal, let's have a look. Characters. Okay. Orihan? Orhan? I have no idea. I'm just going to call her, like, Aura. I know it's wrong, but I don't want to, like, keep butchering the name. So, when she was still a child, she was found abandoned inside of a straw basket beneath a leafy tree. The origin of her parents is unknown, but according to the Lurio scrolls, she was a holy present from goddess Maria herself, even though this was never proven. The High Elves named her Aura in honour of Lorien's tree, the place where she was found. The child proved her worth soon enough, developing a technique to communicate and understand animals. <gasps> we can talk to animals, that's so cool! Especially unicorns! Yay! Unicorns are our friends! <laughs> she loves and reveres unicorns. Aura grew up in the woods of Alfheim, but she was so deeply touched by the curse put on her friend, Granny, the last of the unicorns, that she became a skilled archer. Following a request of the elves, she went on a trip to the unknown with the hope of freeing her friend from witchcraft. Right, so we're supposed to be skilled with a bow, but I don't seem to have access to a bow right now, so hopefully we get that soon. Makala. 
Considered by many as the main monument of Vanaheim, this beautiful face holds countless secrets. There are folk tales about Makala's sad story saying she was a Norse goddess turned to stone by Odin. According to the scholars of that era, Makala was sentenced and punished for loving King Vandrick, a demigod, conqueror of Midgard, and her exuberant body lays deep inside a forgotten temple covered with eudrissal leaves and roots. Some describe Makala as a divine figure whose spirit anxiously awaits freedom. While some of these legends are true, her body has never been seen. Who is to know which parts of these legends are true? I wonder if we'll get to find her body in this series then. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm so like into this already. <laughs> the story is so good. I, I recognize some of these words and stories but I don't know like if they've made some stuff up as well for this game so let me know in the comments guys. Granny. Granny is a unicorn and a really old lady unicorn. <laughs> the rarest of the species and lives in the reign of Alfheim when witchcraft was cast over the luminous woods of the elves. Oh he! Oh sorry! Granny's a boy. <laughs> don't, don't assume the gender of a unicorn guys. He managed to survive the terrible curse that taunts him, um, haunts him even. No one knows how it happened, it is only known that his horn was damaged. However, his suffering was eased by his faithful companion, Aura, who tirelessly, tirelessly seeks to retrieve his power. Legend says that Granny is one of the legendary animals of Asgard, who were sent to the elves by goddess Moriah with the purpose of balancing out the worlds. Even though his name was carefully chosen from a fable by Aura, the elves strongly believe Granny belongs to the same lineage as Sleipnir, the holy horse of Odin? <gasps> wow, Granny, you're a boss! <laughs> awesome! Cool. Who's your favourite character so far, guys? Aura, Makala, or Granny? I've got a thing for Granny, I'm not gonna lie. Look at those luscious locks. <laughs> Can you love a horse? <laughs> Whatever, I'm only joking, guys. Chill out in the comments. Chill out. Right, okay, so which way do we need to go, then? Let's take this. You acquired light flask. Trophy! Find the light when all other lights go out. <laughs> I've just realised that the Unicorn Granny actually has, like, an electricity around it. Can you guys see that? That's so cool. Hold L1 next to the corrupted body to purify it from witchcraft. I will purify you, fallen warrior. Don't you worry. Oh, cool. Collect red crystal shards to buy new items and upgrade your weapons. Collect green crystal shards to recover some health. Sweet. Awesome. I'm liking it so far, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know how you found my channel, why you subscribed, what you enjoy watching on my channel. Let me know, guys. I always love hearing that stuff. And plus, it's really helpful feedback, too. Yoink! The red crystal is mine. Oh! Sugar! Hold R2 to lock on to... Right! Okay, it doesn't really give me enough time to read that. When this button appears next to an enemy, press X to instantly kill it. Oh, nice. An enemy. An enemy. I can't even read the text. I think this tutorial is a little bit iffy, personally. Okay, I don't like that tutorial. It's really like because the enemies. What should happen is the enemies should just like stay still until you've read it and then you press X to continue because I wasn't able to read any of that tutorial then with the combat. Certain enemies can drop items, interact with them to pick them up. Um, I'm not sure like if I even have HP to get depleted right now but I didn't want to risk dying like straight away so I just couldn't read any of that then. Okay, I press the touchpad to open the inventory. A tiny elf herb is partially restores... Res uh, blah, blah, partially restores HP, okay. 
we can smash objects, it seems. Yeah, like, that was a pretty bad tutorial, definitely. It should allow you to fully read the tutorial text before it puts you in combat. Can I interact with this? No? Okay, select the healing item, press triangle to assign it to the quick slot menu. Select the battle ruin and press triangle to assign it to the quick slot menu. Oh wow, that's cool. Press down on the touchpad, uh, sorry, the d-pad to select battle ruin on the quick slot. I don't know what that does, I guess that powers me up because I've kind of got almost like an aura around me now. It's pretty cool. Let's have a look in the treasure chest. Oh, I already opened it, didn't I? <laughs> I'm just being greedy now. You can check the tutorial gain in the tutorial option inside the menu. Right. Here we go. So, right, we can properly read it now. So hold R2 to lock onto the target and press L2 to change between targets. Press square or triangle for fast and strong attacks. Press circle and the left stick to dodge. When an enemy is defeated or you take some hits, this bar is charged. When it is full, press R1 to release a powerful attack. Press the touchpad to open the inventory. Right, so that's- it's pretty basic controls. That's fine. I kind of want a little bit more combat now that I won't be distracted by tutorial. So it is a fixed camera as you can see guys. Vanaheim's Memorial, Fensalier? According to the ancient Eda Scrolls, I think that is, the woods were the source of balance between the Norse reigns. The woods of Vanaheim were guarded by the old lords of the forest, four legendary beings born from the European ashes of Udrissel. Baldur, the god of justice and knowledge, handed the ensign to each one of them. They were then used to guard sacred places and valuable artifacts forged by the dwarves of Nidavalir. For years there was peace in those luminous woods, but one day the darkness destroyed all that was beautiful and fertile, and on that day the lords of the woods succumbed to witchcraft. Only one of them did not, the saviour of an inexplicable tragedy. Many years went by and balance only remained in one desolate area known as the Spirit Woods. A place where the elders believe one can hear and feel the presence of higher forces. Rumour has it that the spirit of Ea, the goddess of healing, wanders around these woods healing the deepest wounds of the cursed roots. Okay. I'm sure there's going to be quite a few people in the comments section like typing out how to say certain words that I'm butchering guys but honestly the best way for me to know how to say them is to hear it in VA but since this game doesn't have VA then I'm probably going to butcher a lot of names so you best get used to it. <laughs> So let's go over here, but there's also a way down those steps as well, guys. Oh, hello. Goblin Warrior's Blade used as craft material. I'm gonna die in a second if I'm not careful. Oh, 
Palmat's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. There we go. A goblin's ear used as craft material. <laughs> Yay! Ear, ear, guys. Ear, ear. An unpleasant smelling plant. Use it to neutralize poison. A spider mushroom cap used as craft material. I need healing quite badly. A varnish root used as craft material. Break these. Can we go through here? Examine. The path is blocked by magic. Okay. Right, well, what I'm gonna do. Oh, can I smash this? No, it's something I can interact with. Something is missing here. Hmm. Right, so we need to put something in that to open that barrier then. Let's go back this way and down these steps. I feel like. The lake is very similar to those in Alfheim. The water looks magical. Oh, okay. I'm assuming we can take that boat somewhere later on, maybe? The music is really nice. Right, hang on a second. Okay, so I've got a hold lock on then, that makes it a lot easier. A spider mushroom leg used as craft material. I don't have any healing left. Could really do with some healing actually. Elros Alcarin scroll number one, a scroll containing information of Elros Alcarin. Okay, we've got some information on monsters here as well. Undead, these horrible and bony creatures were once human, known as the undead. They hover above the ground looking for fresh flesh to satisfy their appetite. Human flesh! <laughs> Legend says that the undead are born out of weak men who died with no glory, whose souls were sent to Helheim. Even though they seem weak, the undead can be very aggressive when threatened and they prefer attacking in groups. And then it's got some images of what materials I can actually get from them as well, so that's pretty helpful. Spider Mushroom. Spider Mushroom is a creature born from the gathering of the deadly remains of spiders and fungi, growing in areas where there are many plants. They are not aggressive, but these strange and tiny creatures move inexplicably fast on tree legs as if they were true arachnids. Sometimes the spider mushroom falls from the treetops, hitting the enemy with such precision and leaving them vulnerable for a while. It says they're not aggressive, so why are they attacking me then? <laughs> if they're not aggressive, I guess I'm invading their territory, I suppose. Goblins. Small, horrible, and tricksy, tricksy goblins, my precious. That is how humans describe the goblins. With their savage habits and poor intelligence, these creatures try their best to avoid contact with humans. Goblins have the ability to survive in all kinds of environments, such as caves, woods, swamps, and ruins. Sweet. So... Uh, oh, okay, right. Character info, basic information, I'm level one. 70 out of 100 HP, so I'm not as damaged as I thought I was, actually. Attack power 2, physical resistance 7, critical attack chance 6%, attack speed 3, craft chance 2, poison resistance 2. Okay, cool. So, it said I got a new item a minute ago, but... I'm not sure how to access that. Like, a scroll? It said I got a scroll. I don't see... Like, an items thing? Hang on a second. Um, journal, tutorial... Right, D-pad. 
Alros Alcaran scroll number one. Here we go. Oh, great, Maria. I am a prisoner in this place. I cannot escape. I'm using the scroll to try and give me the answers to what I have seen in this cursed land. How could anyone call it a miraculous place? All I have found so far is death, loneliness, and a darkness that seems endless. I'm not sure whether this is real or not. I've found so many strange things. I'm questioning my sanity. Amongst all the terrible horrors I have faced, there is one I need to talk about. I have found a colossal creature in a desolate forest. I confess, I did not have the courage to get close to it. Oh god. Foreshadowing of a boss? <laughs> there are many voices here, murmurs and whimpers that deeply affect me. I was afraid to follow that path, but there is a route not very far from it here. Uh, from it, even. There may be something hidden there. I am lost. My curiosity brought me here, and now I'm fighting to get out of this hellhole. Ironic, isn't it? If only I could go back in time, if only I could understand this world a bit better. I feel relieved at being able to write down these words, as writing is what has been keeping me alive. I will write wherever I can if the gods will will it so. Alright, Elros, you're pretty sexy, Elros, I've gotta say. Bit of a uh, Legolas look vibe going on there, guys. What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'm going to read out every single bit of information I get, but I'm finding this world so interesting so far that I'm happy to do so. What the hell is that? That's like a... a mutant turtle! Having to keep hold of lock on. Like normally you just tap it on and tap it off, but it's a little strange, not gonna lie. A piece of trunk used as craft material. Damn, that was interesting. I managed to do dodge those like a boss, though. Right, I think I'm I need to destroy something, maybe, because they keep respawning here. They're, like, never ending. actually dead. <laughs> Would you like to continue your journey to eternity? Yes. Return from last checkpoint, I guess? Damn. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to destroy something there because they just kept respawning. We've already read that so I don't need to read it again. When even was the last checkpoint? Okay, so a little bit far back, but not too far, really.
Oh god. There we go. Made short work of them that time. It's actually worked out better because now I've got more HP than I did before, so... Cover HP from um, fighting. Like I'm, I'm getting like the green orbs and uh, sometimes the red orbs as well. So talk to this dude? Hmm, an outsider lost in this loathsome swamp. Hi, 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 ha, ha, ha. I'm happy that I found you. Hey, I want to show you my goods. These rare things I've found. Interested? Yeah. I'm willing to sell them for a, a special price. However, you will need to buy something right now. Hi, 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 ha, 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 ha. Let's have a look. Bye. An ancient and powerful rune, use it to increase your attack power. An old and powerful rune, use it to increase your health. Well, I've only got 51 of the red crystal things, or red orbs, whatever you want to call them, so... I can't afford much at all, to be honest. In fact, like, most of these things are pretty expensive. Dead. Tortoise shell material. Whoa! Whoa! That wasn't fair! I was locked into picking up an item! now. Piece of uh, wood I think that was. Okay, you drizzle leaves, large branch of miraculous leaves with a rich aroma. Use it to neutralize poison and recover a small amount of HP. I think it's locked. That's what I think that is. That it's not letting me interesting to see what the combat's like. I'm not gonna lie, this fixed camera is kind of tricky with the combat, um, so it's gonna be really intriguing to see how I fare on my first boss. Okay, so this is clearly blocked here. 
I'm assuming this is locked as well? Oh no, this one's open, this hasn't got a lock on it. Yeah, healing! Okay, we've, we have actually got two healing items now as well. There are yellow magic roots blocking this path. There's actually two different directions I can go. Right, that looks like it's leading to a boss. So let's just go back this other way and see what this way has to offer first. As she gets hit. Oh, poisoned! I'm sorry, that was BS. I'm laying into it now. Level up, level two, awesome. Okay, let's go over here and see what this is. Hint, remember to always save your get- No way, I was right next to a save point. <laughs> right when I died. Your checkpoint will be lost if you don't. Okay. So campfires are save points then. A perfect and eccentric crystal. Use it to obtain a small number of fragments. King's crystal, small. Snave, sneaky save. I don't know, I'm starting to have a lot of fun with the combat now. Really fun looking enemies. I'm guessing this is kind of like a bit of a grind spot then because those just keep respawning over and over. Not sure how we get to that up there. Hello sir. How you doing? Bior? Hey you! Water! <laughs> right, uh, I've got that flask. Maybe I have to double back to where, you know, that boat was earlier with the flask? Right, I'm just gonna go back this way and ignore those enemies for now. Go down to where the water is. is back over this way and then down these steps. There we go, use empty flask, awesome. A flask full of water. This is magical water so this should do more than quenches first. I can't believe that thing followed me all the way over here. No way. Determined little blighter isn't it? <laughs> Jesus! Pesky varmint! I'm actually tempted to kill these now. They're actually kind of like stuck on the environment screen, so they can't hurt me. Maybe that one can. Oh, sugar! There we go. A 
pick up that item though. Thank you. Right, so after we've given the water to this dude, I will make sure to save it again. Because I'm pretty sure there's a boss fight over there. I'd like to try and do this boss on this episode. <laughs> woman! <laughs> Give me water, woman! I do not know if you are from Asgard, but if you came to rescue me, I want a worthy death. I want to meet my brothers in Valhalla and have the honour to serve my god. You are not... Ah, a Valkyrie? You are not Ace Aesir? Ah, a Valkyrie. Who are you? What are you doing here? Answer me, woman! Let me be sure I am facing a goddess. I am Aura from Alfheim and I am no goddess. I know you are suffering, O oh warrior, but what can an elf do? So an elf? <laughs> Your voice is as sweet and pure as a Vanir's. If only I could touch you. Oh, if I could. I know I am dying. Oh, unknown woman, before I go to Odin, I want you to know something. This land is cursed, dark, and there is nothing here but death. He's playing a game. I'm near death. Let me feel your cleavage, please, woman. Grant this last dying wish. <laughs> I am Bjor, son of Baffor, and I have never breathed such evil air as this. I've been looking for a way out of this illusion for three days. However, all I have found is death. When my soldiers and I entered the woods, something non-human attacked us. Luckily, I survived, and perhaps by a twist of fate, I am still here to tell you this story. I called upon the gods. Oh, how I called them. But even they are unaware of this godforsaken place, or perhaps they have forgotten it. My time is over. I can hear the sound of Heimdall's trumpet echoing in my ears. But before that, I still have to that time to give you this. Take it. It may tell you something. Okay, Iduna's Fragment, an Iduna Goddess Fragment used as craft material. New journal entry added. Right, journal entry. Okay, Bjor. Paramount and strong, this is how the Vikings are described throughout Midgard. Bjor is one of the most powerful warriors of his tribe, carrying a vast knowledge on combat strategies. A devout follower of Odin and Tyr, he inherited the same will and determination as his father, King Bafor, who died in combat when he was only a child. He grew up on the battlefield and soon became a remarkable warrior. He is respected by everyone after having annihilated hundreds of men on the battlefield single-handedly. Husbando! <laughs> his list of heroic deeds is just as impressive as his skills with a sword and shield. Despite being an expert sailor, Bjor lost his crew in an unknown land and continues to seek tirelessly for answers as to what has happened to them. Damn. Bjor, you're interesting. Hang on a second. Was that another character down here? Xenogob. Xenogob? Xenogob? Let's just call him Zeno for sure. <laughs> this sarcastic miniature creature is always playing pranks. As opposed to the other goblins, Zeno is an avid merchant, extremely intelligent but not trustworthy at all. When around humans and elves, he does anything and everything to sell his contraband from neighbouring sites. Zeno is an ambitious and values wealth such as gold, jewellery and precious stones above all else. He rarely shows his most valuable items, he makes you buy something first. <laughs> well, that's just like good business, business, you know, you need to be a loyal customer before he's prepared to show you the cool shit, okay? Like, that's his, that's his babies, that's his shiny babies. He's not gonna give them up easily. Trunk Tortoise. So that's the horrible turtle things we just saw that can do that spin attack in the air. These creatures are mutations of ancient trees that have been poisoned with an infectious disease known as the Ash Plague. This is transmitted by the cursed roots of Eudrisal. These beings are usually passive and they can be found in the woods. Why is everything attacking me then if it's passive? <laughs> in the riverbeds and human places, despite their passivity, the trunk tortoise is extremely toxic, producing a large amount of venom. However, the poisoning process is slow and can be avoided with ease. 
I'm really liking these entries though that we've got a nice bit of artwork we've got a bit of background story on each of these creatures like how they came to be and what their attributes are and also the pictures of what materials you can get from them as well this is a really nice touch I like this it makes me feel more immersed in the world like you know I'm, I'm actually studying these creatures as I go along and I'm writing this information out and I'm drawing them and stuff it's very like almost like how to train your dragon with mapping out the world and studying the dragons and stuff it's really cool I like it anyway all right let me have a quick drink guys I feel like we're gonna take on a boss now so I'm definitely gonna save it it's really bothering me that I don't know how to get to this shiny Maybe if I had my bow, I could shoot it. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so quick save. Before we do anything else, just in case I die on this boss, which probably is going to happen because I'm still getting used to the camera and everything else. But we've got quite a bit of healing. We've got three of those, so we should be okay. And we've also got... Oh, hang on a second. There we go. Hotkey that. See, I don't have my bow yet because it's not highlighted. So, I could buy some more healing, but I'm tempted to see how it goes first with what I have. Let's go, guys. Let's do this. Come on, this is this has got to be a boss fight. <gasps> is that a dragon? some kind of dragon I didn't even notice that before I feel annoyed at myself now oh hello got me fair play this one is actually healing them There we go. <laughs> nice. I think after that fight went so badly, I'm gonna buy some healing. <laughs> Definitely. Let's go, let's get those heals. There we go, two. Two will do. Because now I've got four in totality for this boss fight and I'm just over half HP am I? Hang on a second. Um, character info. 62 out of 100, yeah, so just over half HP right now. Is this dragon gonna talk to me? Hello dragon! Are you a friend? Checkpoint reached. That's something at least. Trophy, the last guardian. Oh, wow. By Maria, what is this creature? Oh, this is so cool. It's like a mixture of an, of an Ent and a Senator. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's got abs as well. I'm just like swooning over all the fantasy characters. <laughs> Oh dear god what's wrong with me he looks amazing though i'm loving the antlers and everything oh my gosh fantasy as fuck i love it hmm an elf i remember your people oh how i remember the elves used to walk around here with their bright light bringing peace to where they passed oh but unfortunately those days are over and this forest no longer delights me in another time, all was beautiful and fertile, but look around you now. Everything is lost in the... Oh god. Phantasmagoric? Phantasmagoric? Essence of life? I tried. Ah, I remember those glorious days. Those days in which the gods and heroes walked through these lands seeking adventure and wisdom. Those were the days, but now I'm old and tired, far too old to remember such stories. 
Go ahead, explore what's left of the realm of Vanaheim, but before you do, you're going to have to craft a few items in order to continue on your journey. Allow me to help you. A tortoise shell used as craft material. Choose an available item to be crafted. To craft an item, it's important to check the success rate and the materials needed. Hold X to craft the selected item. Oh. There we go. Item crafted with success. So, Fen Soul's emblem. The bottom piece of an emblem. I've done it. Okay, so an emblem from Vanaheim, Land of the Lords of the Forest. A strange emblem can be used to explore new places. So this is to put in that um, rock, you know, before the portal. So we've got to go do that. Cool. Am I supposed to, like... Combine them or something? Does he say any- No, he doesn't say anything else apparently. Okay. Fair enough. Well, some items can only be achieved by defeating enemies. You can check which items are dropped in the journal option inside the menu. Yes, that is useful. Well, I've crafted what I needed. So I've destroyed enough enemies to get those items, which is awesome. So we can make our way back now, but we'll definitely have a quick save before we continue forward. It's really annoying me that I can't open some of these chests. Okay. New area hype! Let's go! Let's get past this portal! Key has been crafted! And there we go! Awesome! The magic seems to have ceased. Vanaheim's Memorial, Jotun Drear. Deep inside Vanaheim, there are places that not even the god dare explore. Jotun Drear is an ancient and enigmatic cave discovered thousands of years ago. Its name comes from Jotunheim, which means Jotun's home. The Jotuns are gigan gi gigantic? <laughs> gigantic! Gigantic beings with superhuman strength. And rumour has it that giants live deep inside this cave, although it is yet to be proven. There are records of the first explorers, the dwarves of... Nida Valir? They say these little arrogant and greedy beings have built a massive underground city with long corridors, large chambers and halls. On top of the wealth and luxurious structures found and built throughout the cave, the dwarves found many horrors that had long been forgotten and lost in the immense, immense city of that dark pit of sedimentary metamorphic rock. Straight away, we've got an enemy! Oh my god! Whoa! I'm st Whoa! Thought I was stuck, I'm not stuck. Okay, he's got some projectile move. Interesting, interesting. Thank you. Right, we've got spiders in here. Oh, what are those? What are those? Oh, what? Did that just explode? What just exploded and caused damage on me? Holy hellfire! 
broken helmet, an undead's broken helmet used as craft material. Oh, it's one of those undead things. Um, let's go to the journal. Black spider. Oh, it's hideous! Why is it so hideous, guys? <laughs> Black spider. This species is the largest known arachnid, aggressive and venomous. This species of amphropods has evolved greatly throughout the years. Black spiders pretty much live in any kind of environment. However, they usually prefer dark places such as swamps and old caves. Actually, the black spiders spend most of their time in their dens weaving webs of sticky silk that they use to catch those who enter their habitat uninvited. Oh! I just got goosebumps all over, guys. Nope, 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 nope. Can we please exit this cave pretty soon? Thank you. <laughs> Remember to check the character information inside the menu to know the progression of your status. Oh, man. Oh, no. There's treasure there and I can't get to it, guys. Why, why, why? Oh yes! Yes, plunge attack into the spider's ass. Totally deserves it. <laughs> okay, can't destroy them guys. So I've got 308 now of the red shard thingies. Elixir of the Gods. Flask containing a vicious green liquid. It restores health to full. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's going to come in useful, guys. Obviously, I'll stick with my regular healing herbs right now, but... Oh! It ran across the screen. Gross. So gross. Where is it? Where is it though? Oh! Oh my god! Holy! Holy hellfire! Right, let's make them... This is probably a good place to fight them, like pulling them onto the bridge. Okay, that one exploded. Yeah, you are a sitting duck for a little bit when you heal, it's kind of like dark sort of stuff. A piece of broken arrow used as scrap material. Holy sugar! <laughs> I forgot about them exploding again! Level up, nice. He's got like... He had like an enchanted weapon or something then. Is that it? Is that all? No, there's a spider. I kind of wish the camera was more free. I do think that can be a hindrance a little bit in these fights. But it's not so much so that I would stop playing the game. Like, I am really enjoying it right now. We have yet to fight a boss though, so... <laughs> oh, it could make things horrible against bosses.
Okay, open sesame. This looks like a horrible bit of the game where I'm gonna die. <laughs> Examine. Hmm, there is a passage here, but it is too steep to climb down this way. How did he not get killed by them? Staggered and then that's it. Like <laughs> you get staggered and then you're dead. It just continually slices you until you're dead. Oh man, 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 man. And we leveled up and everything. We probably lost that level up now. Right, let's have a look. Um, oh, sugar a journal. Character info too, yeah. So we're back at level two, guys. Well, this seems like a good place to stop this episode here. So I might record a few more videos of this just to see what you guys think of the game. Um, as I say, like, this series continuing is very dependent on you guys liking and commenting and showing support. So make sure you do those things. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions on the game so far. Now, I'm just going to give, like, some thoughts and opinions now just in case this ends up being a standalone video. But don't like the camera. I wish it was more free. Um, I wish it had voice acting in it, to be honest. Like, the trailer actually had voice acting in it. So I was expecting the game to have VA, but it doesn't. So there are two things. I feel like when it comes to tutorials, they should have allowed you to choose when to move forward with the text. The same with the introduction, actually, because I really had to read through that quickly and I was unable to, like, process it as much as I wanted to. I prefer reading at my own pace rather than read this. Oh, boom, next thing, read this. So there are some criticisms of the game. Um, I really like the detail when it comes to the world building. That's great. I love this whole like menu system with the book and stuff. I love the drawings of the monsters and the characters and the illustrations, the information on the items you can get from them, their background, their lore. That's really awesome. Combat is growing on me. I wouldn't say it's awful. I would say that combat is made more tricky because of the camera but it's not bad enough for me to say I don't want to play this game anymore. I do actually really like it. Um, the graphics aren't anything amazing, but the story is really good. I'm enjoying it so far, but let me know what you think, guys, down below in the comments. Obviously, your opinions matter too, and if you guys aren't interested in it, then it's something I'll just pick up eventually in my own time and play anyway. So, like I said, there might be a few more videos, maybe, because I really just want to sit down and play more of this today. So I'll decide on that. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are having fun. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video and you're not part of Team GGK yet. Please join and tap that bell to turn on notifications. If you do want to support the channel and go the extra mile and be an amazing VIP supporter, then check out all the links down below in the video description, guys. Once again, thank you to Ryan for the code. Take it easy, everyone, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.